Today, let's talk about thoughtful prioritization inside of Notion. What this is, is the practice of assigning precise conditions to a priority tag. Every priority tag or priority level describes the importance of a task. I personally use three different conditions for priorities one through three, priority one being high priority. Those three conditions are urgency, effort, and impact. I like having low effort, high impact, or high urgency at the very top of my list, down to the bottom, which is high effort and low urgency. Let's transform all of these conditions into one single formula. Let's get right into it. But first, why would you do this? Why would you automate a priority tag? Well, if you're someone like me that has a hard time with priority tags, I never really know what to assign them. So what I did inside of my own database is I broke it up into these three select properties. What goes into a priority? The effort or the difficulty? Is this a quicker task I can get done or is there a fair bit of learning I need to do in order to achieve this? Also urgency, is the due date coming up? Do other tasks behind it have deadline sensitivities that need to be addressed? So I need to do this task really quickly in order to get all the rest done. Impact course, that just means importance. If this task does not get completed, will that affect my goal poorly? Or what level of disruption will that create? So a lot of people use priority tags inside of their database. Like for instance, if you're coming from uh, my Notion from day one playlist, Project Roadmap actually has a priority tag from P1 to P4. I want to turn this into a formula. So this formula is going to take three different conditions. Here are my conditions for each priority from one to three. So what you're going to get here is all of my tasks of low effort and high urgencies first, and all of my tasks of higher effort and lower urgency last. Everything in between will land in priority two. That's the logic we're going to use here. And there is an empty or an empty formula database at the bottom of the link below so you can follow along. So let's say if, this is an if condition. So if this, then display that. So if this, display that, otherwise display that. So this last bit is going to be the false condition. So if, Let's look at our first condition here for priority one. Urgency does not equal low. So I'm gonna click urgency and I'm gonna use the contains function to wrap around. I'm gonna say contains low. Wrap that around another parentheses. So we're looking at this right here. If urgency contains low, but it does not contain low. So let's put a not before it. If it does not contain low, then priority one otherwise an empty space. So that's what it's gonna look like so far. Let's give it some more conditions. And effort does not contains in effort, comma, high. So now we're able to narrow it down a bit. And not contains, in impact, comma, low. And there you go. We have our first if statement created. Now we're gonna add the next if statement for priority three. It is very similar to one. We're just changing it around. We're inverting it essentially. So an easy way to sort of duplicate this is to take this if statement up to priority one, copy and paste. Make sure there's a comma before the false condition and that there is another parentheses at the end, closing out two if statements. So I can locate after our first if statement and it says not contains urgency low. Let's invert that to high. The next one from high to low and low to high. And priority three is the outcome. Otherwise, just display priority two. We can go up to this filter here that only shows that done is unchecked. And let's remove that for a moment to look at all of the priority tags. 
Let's go up to priority, click it and sort ascending. But it looks like I have a high urgency priority one tag at the bottom of this priority one grouping, card three. I want that to be at the top. So I'm gonna add more sorts and I can go to effort and sort descending, lowest effort at the top, urgency ascending, that brings card three closer to the top. Of course, card nine with a low effort is at the very top. And then I can sort impact ascending as well. So this is exactly how I have it in my workspace and it's worked very well for me. I can also add a filter for done again. Add filter, done is unchecked. I would add new tasks through this window. Whenever we add a new task, it automatically says priority one, but I haven't given it any conditions. We'll have to wrap another if statement around our formula. So I'm gonna go if not empty. So the empty function just tells my formula that this property is empty, but I wanna say is not empty. So it's filled in is effort and not empty is impact and not empty is the last one, which is urgency. Then if this is the case, if all of them are filled out, conduct the formula we just made. Otherwise false condition at the end, leave it empty with just an empty quotation. Now our new task does not have a priority until we start filling everything in. And of course, when you're done the task, it will disappear into archive because that filter says done is unchecked and archive says done is checked. Okay, so looking at these designated priority database views in priority one, for instance, I can just add one single filter and say, and priority the formula contains one. Same goes for two and three. I can also add that sort to each one of these database views. So sort by effort descending, urgency ascending, and impact ascending. One last thing, just like in filters, you have two options, and and or. You can translate that inside of a formula as well. So you can translate the or condition. Let's replace priority one with equals low or moderate, which is basically saying the same thing, right? So if we go back into this formula and look at where that is, right here is our first if statement. It says and not contains an effort high. Instead, let's say and replace that or with or parentheses, contains an effort low, comma, close out that or, which is a nested or statement. We're telling the formula that contains an effort low or separated by a comma, and I can just copy this, contains an effort moderate. So again, looking at this nested or statement, we have this comma or that, and that will give us the same thing. All right. And that's about it. That's just some of my personal uh, strategy and logic around the priority tag that may be useful for you. It might be more useful to just have one select property. Either way, I hope you guys got something out of it and let's go right into the outro. This week is gonna be a big week for Notion. There is gonna be a huge update and I am going to walk through that with you guys and I have some use cases in mind that might be useful for it. So look out for that. And yes, I will make an Obsidian video. It's not gonna be a tutorial, but it will be how I am currently using the program. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time with another video, probably that update video. And also, I forgot to mention, I just reached 20,000 subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you for subscribing. I am 
blown away by how many people support this channel. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next time with a new video. I'll see you then.